Hello everyone, Sans Sutra. And welcome to episode 19 of Infinity. So, a bit happened between episodes. I removed the um, thermal lily setup. I made four more end of flames. And I added the mana pool, the mana spreader I had. And it looks to be fine. In terms of the alloy smelter keeping up with eight end of flames. I have configured these four new to be linked to this one. Just so that we don't get any miss. Just so this one doesn't get like one and this one gets seven. Just to keep it nice and simple. So yeah. I also filled up half a mana pool and let this one run for that duration. This is what I got. got some I think I already got this but I got two ender li lily seeds which is awesome I'm going to take those now ender lily seeds are my blessing because of the fact that usually when I go and hunt for endermen they don't give me anything do keep in mind that I don't have any looting on my sword, but still. So the ender lilies can be used for a lot of things. They can be melted down into resonant ender. They can be used in a bioreactor. But all of this are, are, are useless to me. Their main purpose is to grow ender pearls. Now these take a very long time to grow. You can plant these on either dirt, end stone, or if I can remember, and of course, dirt, end stone, and of course. I'm pretty sure you can you can plant on something else, but I can't remember. Anyway, if you were to place it on dirt, it would take a ridiculous amount of time. We're talking one Minecraft week or so. And these only produce one ender pearl each, so that's gonna be like two ender pearls per minecraft week but yeah on endstone it will go a bit faster but not so that you notice it right away the best thing is to make these ender cores but they are not the simplest to make they require an eye of ender for ender infused obsidian which is obsidian surrounding an ender pearl you get four per recipe and the magical wood now the magical wood is a bit yeah if you read here magical wood is infused with powerful magic it will boost the max enchantment level blah blah, blah. oh that's just enchanting we don't want that so, enchanted book, four of them, bookshelf, four gold. Now, depending on the power of the book, let's say you have four books that only has unbreaking one, you're probably going to get one out of each, or two, if you use a 
high level enchantments. So let's say um, I'm breaking now nah, sharpness four or looting three or something. You're gonna get more out of them. My only question is, what route should I take? Because you see here, you can either craft them. Or you can put it in a fluid transposer using eight buckets of liquid experience in a bookshelf will give you one magical wood. That would be the easiest in terms of work because you only have to put a bookshelf in in a fluid transposer, which meaning I have to craft a fluid transposer, which is not too bad. But you're, you're only going to get one per bookshelf either way. So I might do some enchanting. I don't have enough leather, but what I can do is start uh, reproducing the cows I have here. So you make a baby. Ah, oh, oh, I see it. There's a tiny one in there. Okay. So I might do that just because it's going to be better in the end. Because I, I am going to craft not, not a lot of these for the time being, but as time goes by. Not to mention the fact that I can only craft one ender core at the moment. Because it requires one ender pearl here and one ender pearl there. And I only have two ender pearls. So, yeah. First of all, though, I need an enchanting table. Which. If I remember, is a book, two diamonds, and four obsidian. It's fine. Now, the ender tank that was used for the thermal lilies I have in my uh, ender pouch. gonna snag you because yeah so again I don't have any of the numbers but planting planting it on an ender core is way faster uh, two diamonds There you go. There we go. Now, in regular vanilla, I would need 15 bookshelves in order to get it to enchant the maximum, which is 30. Well, we're not playing modern. We're, we're not playing vanilla Minecraft. So. I'm going to make two mana pylons for the sole purpose. Oh, hold on. Let's see, if I take my book, maybe we can find it. A mana pylon is a structure that can pull energies from the earth to use them to power enchanting processes. For one, setting one adjusted to an enchanting table as if it was a bookshelf 
will drastically increase the power it can convey. Just two of these are enough to reach level 30. So basically, instead of me having to craft 15 bookshelves, which I don't have the leather for, or the sugar canes, I can just use two of these, which is nice. Uh, I'm just going to put you down uh, here for now. Put you there and there. Uh, I'm going to get four books. It's going to be three, six, nine, twelve. And let's see. Yep, that's already. Oh, I don't have any levels. All of my levels are in there. So I'm going to have to get those out somehow. That's where the open blocks come in again. This thing. XP shower. Three iron, one obsidian. Fairly simple. Uh, for now, I'm just going to put you down there. So I can access lava. Why? Because I don't like to go down and up and down and up all the time. Go to sleep. I feel like I'm starting to feel like night is coming way faster than it really should be. But it might just be me. So three iron, one obsidian, XP shower. I'm also gonna need a lever. And some of these um, no, some of these pressurized fluid conduits. Stick you on there. Maybe. Uh, shift left click in order to open it. Extract. If I pull this, yes. You can literally shower in XP. I'm gonna get myself up to level 30. It's taking a while. There is a faster way of doing this, which I might do after this, because this is going very, very slow. Very slow, actually. <laughs> Let's see. Stop. Luck of the C3. Uh, let's instead look at tank. Four obsidian, five glass panes. That's doable. Let's do this. Four, two, three, one, two, three, one more. In the meantime, I'm gonna make some glass panes. Come on. Thank you.
two of these. Let's go down and put you there. Take you off. Take you down. And why did I just move it from a drum to a tank? Well, I can just right click it and it will give me a level. Which is way faster. Efficiency 4. Let's see. Huh. Don't have enough levels. Let's do this anyway. Let's do a 10 and let's do a 15. So I have 4 books now. Now I'm going to need a bookshelf and some gold. I believe it's four. Gold in the corners and books. Get okay, eight of them. That's Decent. Somewhat, at least. So. Um, ender cores. Yes. Gonna need another four obsidian. Which I'm just going to actually have a bucket. One, two, three, four, four, four. So take you, one of you, now I either need to actually make some storage or I need to make more chests. For me, I'm probably going to make more chests, <laughs> but yeah, let's go here. Go here, hopefully. Yes, and the core. Put that uh, downstairs. Here, maybe. One of you. There we go. Now, if I want to, I can stand here with a watering can and wait. This is 14%. But I'm not gonna stand here and yeah, spend an entire video just doing this. So I'm just gonna leave it for now. Pause the rest of my XP. Put you and you, you. So yeah. If I look at, yeah, it looks like it, it can't give up, that's good, lots and lots of mana, I also upgraded this barrel to have with the storage upgrades just to double up the capacity not for any reason just because so yeah 
how is my cow doing? Or my baby cow? Are you grown up? You are? Not. Can I make you again? Yes, I can. Stop jumping. Make babies. There you go. That's always fun. Now, I was considering getting everything ready for the Gaia Guardian, but that is still a long way to go. The Gaia Guardian is basically the boss of Botania which you summon yourself. There are two versions of the Gaia. One is hard and the other is absolutely brutal. So for me to fight the Gaia is going to take a fairly decent amount of planning and preparing. Although I ne I must say that fighting the Gaia is a lot of fun. It really is. I I find it I find it way more fun than fighting fighting the Ender Dragon or the Wither or almost. It's one of my favorite bosses to be honest. I'm just gonna put you back in there again. So, yes, I, I am. I apologize, I'm a bit tired. Because, mostly because of lack of sleep. But. What I can do is. So, last episode I told you about the Hopper Hawk. How. It picks up items in a fairly decent area. There is an item called the Manasir Monocle. Made very easily with three gold nuggets, mana steel ingot, and a mana glass, which is basically just glass in a mana pool. And I am pretty sure not 100% sure, I am pretty sure that this is the item that will let you see the area of effect that flowers do. So let's make it. Go in your bubbles and look at me. Oh, I feel just like a British man. Yes, if you mouse over it, you will see that I actually got fairly lucky because this is one block away from that pressure plate, which meaning that it doesn't pick up the coal. Now these have a an okay radius. This one, yeah. And the pure daisy only affects any 3x3. Three three. That's cool. I actually just show you with one of these as well. These only... yeah. F for some reason I don't know, but I can't put these on top of each other. And I don't know why. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to take this off, put it in, and it's getting night time. 
so let's sleep. There we go. So doing Botania for me is a lot of fun. But at the moment I'm I'm just oh My FPS suddenly decided to die. Again. There you go. Okay, so basically what I'm trying to say is the only thing I'm doing now is just wait until I have mana in order to do more stuff. So instead of waiting and waiting and waiting might as well do something else so we're gonna take a look a little yeah we're gonna start a bit with um, thermal expansion this is a mod that I highly enjoy as well simply because of the fact it allows you to do a lot of stuff. You have already seen some one machine which is the energetic infuser which you know charges up my pickaxe but there are other machines like the furnace, the pulverizer, sawmill, induction smelter, magma crucible, fluid transposer, glacial precipitator, Ignis Extruder, which I already have one more of. What is going on with my FPS? I'm at one. This is very strange. Alright, so it appears that we're gonna have to take a look at Thermal Expansion next time. So yeah, thank you for watching, and farewell.